everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to locate citation information from websites and other online sources you may find through Google. Google is one of the most frequently used search engines, and for many needs, it's perfectly fine. However, there are challenges to using Google. One is the sheer number of results. For my search online learning, I have over 2 billion individual results. Another challenge is that even when you find something of high quality or useful, it is often difficult to cite because the citation information may not be presented or labeled in an obvious way. In future videos, I will go over how to determine what type of source you have found through Google and how to evaluate them. But for now, I'm going to focus just on how do you locate citation information. I went past these first four results, which are all ads. And these top stories are usually news stories. So I went past those as well. And from my first page of results, I chose three different sources that may match what you find when you do your searching. That way we can look at different things together. The first website is actually a web page. Kind of like how with an article it's published in a periodical, a web page is a single portion of a larger website. The title of the web page is given here towards the center. It is online learning. The website title is given in the header. It's usually either centered or to the left. In this case, my website title is Educause. There is no author listed either at the top or at the bottom of this source. So there is no author. If we were making a citation for this page, we would therefore put nothing. Um, for the assignment, you can simply list none. Similarly, the publication date, which is normally at the top or the bottom, is also not present, so we would not put a date. We would put none. But you say, wait, there is a copyright date. For online sources, copyright date is not the same thing as publication or revision date. For online sources, the copyright date only tells us when this group legally protected their information. It doesn't tell us when they actually posted it or when they might have changed it. Also at the very bottom next to the copyright symbol, you can usually find the publisher. In this case, my publisher is Educause, the same as the title of my website. And then if I want the URL, I would copy and paste what's here in the search box. This second site is from Education USA. This is a government site, which we can tell by the .gov as the extension. The title of the website here is a little bit harder to find. It's actually here in the center again, and it is called Step 1 Online Learning. Just very strange title. Usually there's more than one step, but that is nevertheless the title of my web page. My title of my website is Education USA, as given here in the header. For this source, because it is a government website, there is no publication date when we look at the bottom here. That's because government information is public domain meaning that it has no copyright protection. So when we are looking for the publisher, it is normally going to be either here at the bottom or in the header. The publisher here is the United States Department of State. There is no author. And there is also no date. So for those two, we would have to put none. The final source I have here is a New York Times article. A New York Times article is actually a periodical article because it is a newspaper article, but it will have the most complete publication information. 
Title of the article is here, what we are learning about online learning. Title of the website, or in this case periodical, is the New York Times. The author, Benedict Carey, is given beneath the title, and the publication date, June 13th, 2020, is given right beneath the author. When we scroll down all the way to the bottom of the page, next to the copyright symbol, it tells us that the publisher is the New York Times Company. So sometimes you'll have a situation like this where the publisher name is very similar to your website, but it's not identical. Each page for each type of source is laid out a little bit differently and may or may not include different pieces. If you are struggling to find citation pieces for a website, then I would recommend contacting either me or another librarian or asking your professor for help. Sometimes though, as you've seen from these examples, it may just not be there. I hope that you find this helpful as you complete today's assignment.